I'm Dennis, the CEO and founder of X.AI. We've created this agent that schedules meetings. And then over the last three years, me, that team, and 70 propeller heads have been in the basement trying to bring Amy to life. Dennis Mortensen is the founder of a company called X.AI. They've raised $34.3 million in a couple series. His company does artificial intelligence emailing. The app coordinates meetings using just text, parses that text using a computer, and takes all of the hassle out of scheduling meetings. In this video, I wanna dig into his sales process and also go over some of the takeaways that he's seen analyzing millions of sales emails. I also wanted to go over how he sells artificial intelligence to B2B. So what is Amy? I'm gonna answer in a second. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. Amy is this intelligent agent that can manage your calendar. So the way this works is that you shoot me an email for this exact meeting actually, and say, hey, Dennis, do you have time for us to have a chat on Skype one of these weeks? And I will reply back and say, you know what, Alex? That sounds wonderful. I have CC'd in Amy, my assistant, who can help put something on my calendar. The difference between that sentence, which is usually some human who sits in the front office called Amy, who will then help figure out when we're supposed to meet, is that our Amy is a machine. So. Amy, which is this intelligent agent that we've been engineering over the last three years, will understand what I just asked her to do, which was to certainly remove me from the conversation, reach out to Alex, have a very human-like dialogue or even negotiation with you on exactly when we're supposed to meet, so that at some point in the discussion, we figure out we should meet on Friday, July 29th at 11.30 under this Skype ID, and here we are. So what's the business model for X.AI? So we expect to end up with a business model very similar to that of a Dropbox, that there is a free personal edition for where Alex is just in pain, he signs up for it and use Amy to do an interview here, do something there, and you're all good. Then hopefully, you fall in love and you can see that I should really bring this to work. And as I bring it to work, I should upgrade to the pro edition because I can then change the signature. I can do unlimited meetings. I can have VIPs. So my colleagues and what have you can reach directly up to Amy. And then you pay me a SaaS pricing for that, say something in the 20, 30 dollars. And hopefully you just use it. And at some point you just get confident, lazy, busy, and you start to invite your colleagues use Amy, then they get exposed, they start using her. And that's the point for where I'll have three, four, five guys within the organization, and the CIO finds out, what the hell? What is this thing that we reimburse every month to the SDR team or whatever it might be? And people say, oh, is this thing that I use to be more productive? I think I do three more meetings a week just by having this tool in place. Ah, we should have that for the whole team. He then signs up the business. You move Amy to your main. We do wall to wall, not just the sales team. We'll do the HR team, the engineering team. We'll do marketing and so on and so forth. And when that happens, you start to do things that really wasn't possible before, such as, hey, Amy, can you get me and the Northeast region team together early next week, not Tuesday though. And she can click send. She already talked to the other five guys. Why? Because she worked for them as well. So she's talking to herself and you're meeting on Wednesday, 10 o'clock, meeting room 9F. And that is almost magical. So we can certainly see value in Amy, not just for external meetings, even for internal meetings as well. How do you compete with the dozens of other calendar tools in the ecosystem right now? So I'm obviously biased to no surprise, but it seems to me that the plugin extension app, Calendly, Tumble Me, Doodle Me 
have been tried and tested. If you look at my little list of potential actors in this vertical, we have about 70 plus. I'm not so sure that that's what the market wants. If that's what the market wants, this meeting, by the way, would have been set up differently. As in most people still reach out, most certainly in sales settings, over email. And as you sit there in your inbox, really, all you want to do is just continue that conversation. Not to take it out of your inbox, into some app, pick three times, or force your client to go to a website and pick three times and be your assistant. I, don't, I just don't believe in that. If I believed in that, I should take my $35 million and do a nicer Calendly. That would be my bet because my button is slicker than theirs. I just think it's the wrong answer. If you ask anybody, hey, I have $50,000, which I will go use to hire a human assistant to manage your calendar. Do you want that? It's on me. Everybody would say yes. The only reason they don't have that is it's cost, it's cost prohibitive. So I think this is the only real solution. And the Calendly, which is a wonderful solution, by the way, or any similar solution, breaks under any complexity. You set up a calendar in your SDR universe between nine and six, then the client comes back and say, hey, I'm traveling. Can we do the demo at 6.30? Sure. If it's Walmart, hell, we can do it at 2 a.m. So th there's something here for where whenever something is not normal, the app or the web service breaks. Or can Tommy come with me? Or can we come by your office? Or we actually have real security concerns. Can we extend the meeting from 30 minutes to one hour? Anything which is not normal, you need some agent that can negotiate on your behalf. It's much, much harder it will take much, much longer. And again, I know I'm biased here, but that's certainly my viewpoint. What's next for X.AI? You know what? We're just the guys who schedule meetings. Anything that ends up in, on your calendar, I want to be the one who scheduled it. There's a little bit above 10 billion formal meetings being set up in the U.S. every year. That's what we're hunting. No more, no less. I want to make sure that those meetings are being set up in the most sexy way when you receive the invite, all the information is just so solid that even if you could do it yourself, you didn't, you didn't want to. You certainly don't want to do something half-assed. So I want to control that. That's a year-long endeavor. We're just at the very beginning of it. Do you find that focusing on only calendars has made your sales process easier or harder? So any salesperson in any capacity, and we spent, sadly, because we're getting older, our past 20 years in a traditional enterprise sales setting. So all our past ventures have been kind of six, seven figure type deals with eight month sales funnel and dinners and what have you, all the way down to closing the deal. And those solutions tend to be complex with explanations and demos and trials and all that good stuff that you and I know about. This is nice though. My deck is one slide. What do you do? We schedule meetings. There is no slide two. That's the end of the pitch. That provides a very comfortable environment. We are obviously more of a scale play where we want many seats, but it's been very nice to have an offering which is crystal clear. You might not like it, but you're not confused about what we do. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Alex from Experiment 27. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you found value in this video. Like this video to encourage this type of content and reach out to experiment27.co if you need marketing support for your agency. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks a lot.